see it because it's so clear. It's lucite. Hey, my Nikki Charmers. Welcome back to the channel. I am Nikki of Nikki Charms. Today we're doing a DIY on this clear acrylic table behind me. Can't really see it because it's so clear. It's lucite. For today's DIY project, we are creating a panel entryway table, and here are the products I used. Starting off with some painter's tape, some Gorilla Glue, and of course our main supply, which is wooden sticks, which I got from Amazon, and I'll link it in the description box below. We also have some semi-gloss paint in black, my color of choice, and some plaster of Paris. So for my first step, I am going in with painter's tape and creating a base layer for the table, just so the glue can adhere better to the table. And I think it's a good idea in case I don't want to fully commit to the DIY project, I can always take it off. And with this process, I made sure to lay it flat and neat and make sure not to have any spaces in between so the glue wouldn't stick to the table directly. Now that the outside is done, we're moving on to the inside and repeating the same process. As you can see, this process is a little tedious, just making sure that I'm laying everything flat and neatly. And eventually I did run out of painter's tape, so I went in with some masking tape to finish it up with. So that's an FYI, if you're planning on doing this, make sure to have extra tape. Now that our base layer is laid, we can move on to the next process, which is gluing the wooden sticks onto the table using the Gorilla Glue. And I applied a good amount of glue to make sure that it is secure. Then I was playing around with it a little bit to see how I wanted to space it, if I wanted to put it like directly next to each other or if I wanted a space in between. And as you can see, I eventually spaced them out. And I was just eyeballing the spaces, but I would recommend if you have like the time to actually measure in between, I would suggest you do that. So far so good. And on the curved parts, I added some clamps just to make sure that it is secure and the wooden sticks wouldn't lift up. Now we're moving on to the inside and I'm just lining them up the same way how it is lined up on the outside. So I'm just filling where I lined it on the outside and placing the wooden sticks in the same spot on the inside, if you get what I mean. And for the inside curve, I just found a spot that laid flat and placed my stick there. And I couldn't forget the clamps, that was essential. This is how it turned out after a few hours of trying. I think it's a cool design. It's the next day and we actually let the table sit and dry overnight. So now we can actually finally add some plaster to it. I'm gonna add a thin layer of this plaster of Paris. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, we're gonna add this, just a thin layer because I want something like a little barrier in between rather than just adding the primer and the paint to it. I want something to smooth it out. So I'm gonna add a thin layer of this. I hope it doesn't mess it up. So we're gonna see how the plaster comes out. I'm gonna make it more pasty, like a very thin layer. So let's get to it. So this was my first time working with plaster of Paris and I must say you have to work fast because it dries fast and it all depends on the thickness, how quickly it dries. Mixed our plaster together. I might have to add a little more water because it is starting to dry. Um, but it's the right consistency. Let's hurry up and add it before it dries completely. Okay, now we're done with the plastering. Now I have to wait for it to dry and see how the result is. I'm hoping it's good. But yeah, if not, we're gonna have to try to add something else, probably like spackling, but I wanted to see how the plaster comes out. We just have to wait and see. And the plaster of Paris actually didn't work. It cracked. I, I just had the genius idea just to put that, some type of plaster or something, but I bought some spackle, so I'm gonna try that instead. I think that will work better, but my genius brain was thinking that the plaster will work, and it actually didn't, so. I'm gonna show you actually how it looks. It's cracking all over the table. Like if I keep hitting it like this, 
it's just crackled all over the floor. So that's a no-go. Look at my hand. <laughs> so I bought this big tube of spackle, the dry ducks, that dry ducks, because I know I use spackle a lot for my paintings and stuff like that. So it will always come in handy. But yeah, for the plaster, that's a no-go. So we're gonna get into spackling the table and then let it dry. For this process, I'm adding some water to make it a little thinner consistency and that it won't dry as fast. This was a perfect consistency, not too thick, not too thin. For this step, I spackled all over the table using a sponge brush and I also sprayed it with some water just to make sure that it wouldn't dry as fast so I can smooth it out. So using this spackling with the color indicator was very helpful for this process. And this is how it came out. After I let it dry a couple of hours, I went in with the sander and sanded it, which I'm missing a few clips of. I made sure to sand the surface and in between. Moving on to our primer, which I wanted to do before painting, just so it has a base layer before putting the actual paint on the table. Now I can physically see it coming together. It doesn't look too shabby. And now it's paint time. I chose black because my house is full of black and white and neutral colors. If you're choosing to do this, it's optional what color you choose. Comment below if you plan to do a DIY project like this. I would love to know. For this process, I did about two to three coats and I let it dry. And this is how it came out. For my first time trying something like this, I think it came out pretty cool. And the process was fun to do as well. Here's how it looks in my entryway after adding some decor. I think it's the perfect touch of black that's needed for this space. It still had a couple of imperfections, but other than that, I think it looks great. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Comment below if you enjoy my DIY videos. And until next time, be blessed guys. Mwah.